Fury. Part man, part cop, all cyborg. After Brian Fury was gunned down in a shootout in Hong Kong, he was brought back to life by Dr. Abel as a psychotic killing machine and has since made many enemies. Powerful yet technical, Brian is perhaps best described as unorthodox without being gimmicky. Brian lacks generic tools like a down forward one, down forward two, or hop kick and doesn't have any special stances or crazy evasive tools either. Instead, Brian comes equipped with a number of unique offensive weapons, including his signature taunt, which is, bar none, the most devastating unblockable in the entire game. Brian has a dominating grip on the mid-range, and can make it very hard for the opponent to get near him. His 3 plus 4 is a mid with incredible range, and on counter hit leads to a full combo. His notorious orbital also has a very disjointed hitbox, meaning it will comfortably snuff out many approach tools. Brian is blessed with many powerful counter hit moves. His 1 2 4 starts from a jab and is all guaranteed on counter hit, meaning the opponent has to ensure that their pressure against Brian is airtight. His back one is a plus on block mid that leads to a full combo on counter hit. Forward three is an excellent close range counter hit fishing tool, and the previously mentioned three plus four allows him to effectively control the mid range. One of Brian's most important counter hit tools is the muck kick. Many of Brian's best moves can be stepped quite easily, and this fast, damaging high is used to keep the opponent in check. The counter hit combo and evasive properties are just the icing on the cake. Brian has not historically been a powerful mix up based character, but this is an area of his game which has increased in effectiveness with almost every incarnation of the kickboxer since Tekken Tag 1. With his beefed up hatchet kick, as well as a range of low pokes, damaging mids, and his iconic taunt, Brian is now an offensive powerhouse. It is notably hard to keep a life lead against Brian via movement or running the clock, as the hatchet kick does good damage, is hard to step at range, and can be looped into itself to some extent. This issue compounds when Brian has rage as his Rage Drive is an extremely powerful launching mid with an enormous hitbox which often allows it to plow straight through jabs, making it a terrifying prospect to duck or whiff against him. Both on the ground and in the air, Brian deals a ton of damage. Many of his moves take big chunks off the opponent's health and when Brian lands a combo on you, it's going to hurt. This, combined with his long-reaching wall carry and powerful rage drive, gives Brian some tremendous comeback potential. At the wall, Brian is a straight-up murderer. With nowhere to run and nowhere to hide, if you don't get up correctly, then a single successful taunt setup can outright finish the round. While Brian boasts strength, he's a little on the slow side. Nowhere is this more apparent than in his counter hit tools just outside of jab range. This means characters like Steve with his infamous back one can really give him a tough time. Brian also has an average back dash and a below average sidestep. This means that he really needs to squeeze the most that he can out of the Tekken movement system. A lot of Brian's key moves have very poor recovery on whiff. This means that after a successful sidestep or backdash, you're much more likely to launch Brian than with most other characters. Brian lacks a generic down forward 1, and his nearest equivalent is down forward 2, which comes out in the same speed at 13 frames, 
and is also an elbow, meaning it can't be parried. By itself, it gives up momentum on block, and while it does have a high continuation that's both natural on hit and allows him to step on block, it's also a non-jailing high, so can be very risky. In addition, Brian's jabs are long-ranged, but have an exceptionally high and narrow hitbox, meaning that any move with even a smidge of high evasion will go under his jabs. Brian struggles a lot with close-range pressure. His lack of funky evasive moves or stances means that most of his defense has to be accomplished with fundamentals or hard reads with moves like his 1-2-4, while standing 3, punch parry, orbital, or high crushing fully crouched down forward 4. The aforementioned muck kick can be used to wrap around moves which are weak to sidestep left up close, including many jabs and generic down forward 1s. However, this will get you counter hit by most magic 4s and stuff like Steve back 1. Getting the most out of Brian requires some very demanding execution, and optimal Brian is tricky in multiple ways. For one, since he's a backsway character, you need to backdash cancel the proper, correct way, which is very challenging for some. Also, his follow ups from a taunt, in particular, the notorious Taunt Jet Upper is one of the most challenging feats in the entire game. On top of this, a lot of his best block punishment tools have multiple inputs. For example, punishing a pushback move with Mark Breaker or a minus 14 move with Jet Upper requires clean and precise inputs. His max damage practical combos are finicky. His standalone counter hit 4 combos are tricky. His whiff punishes mostly involve some execution. And staple wall options like back 4 or mock breaker are also moderately difficult. On top of this is also hit confirming down forward 1-1, one, one, whiff confirming quarter circle back 2-4, pulling off an instant fully crouched down forward 4, and so on. Little of this is taunt jet upper levels of difficulty, but there are many subtly different challenges to keep track of, which do add up. <laughs> Brian has received some very nice changes for Season 3 that both fill up some of the holes in his game as well as consolidating his strengths. Most importantly, he now has a solid 13 frame punish from Crouch. This boasts incredible range and good damage. On top of this, his 4-3 is now a natural hitting combo, allowing him to properly punish get-up kicks. In combination, these two buffs help round out Brian's previously lacking block punishment to the extent where it can now even be considered one of his strengths. Back 1 now also gives slightly more advantage on block, meaning that down forward 2 will beat mashed crouch jabs, and a jet upper will trade with jabs. Down 2 received one of the more overplayed changes in Season 3, where it received a lot more frame advantage on hit. Seeing as the issue with this move was typically its whack hitbox, rather than people mashing buttons after getting hit, the change ended up not making much of a difference. Other minor but appreciated quality of life changes are an increase of damage to down 4, a nice ranged low, consistent follow ups after a quarter circle back to 4 with soccer kick, which itself also deals more damage, and muck breaker being always safe, even when used at the wall. Brian's only real nerf was a hidden one where the hitbox of his Rage Drive was slightly altered so that it wouldn't connect after many previously staple combos. His Rage Drive combos still do a lot of damage, but they're just a bit more boring now. Brian has very clear cut strengths and weaknesses. His damage potential and ability to steal rounds from a single mistake 
particularly on wall stages, is absolutely terrifying. However, his slow recovery and overall sluggishness means that he has to be played carefully, often reactively to the opponent. This combined with his sharp execution barrier makes Brian ill-suited to tournaments. Make no question though, Brian is an incredibly powerful character, and in long sets, unquestionably one of the best. With every decision that you reveal to a skilled Brian player, the cyborg grows stronger and stronger. Thank you so much for watching our Brian overview. As usual, please see the description for a PDF of the script. There are two versions, one designed for viewing on monitors and the other for printing. There's also a wallpaper based on the thumbnail. As always, a massive thank you to our patrons. Their support is what allows us to go the extra mile on these videos. Stand by. Up next is Claudio Serafino.